Dr. William Taylor. I'm here to talk to you today about a novel technique uh, called prone transoas. We started doing this approximately a year ago in which we're doing lateral procedures in the prone position. There are multiple advantages to this. The advantages include the ability to access the posterior portion of the spine at the simultaneously when we are working on the lateral portion. The real reason that we started this is because the lateral growth has slowed down at about 20% of surgeons. And I think that's because you have various opportunities which have presented themselves and made the decision making much more confusing for the lateral approach. When the person's in the lateral position, you need to decide about percutaneous pedicle screws, lateral plates, indirect decompression. When we start with the patient in the prone position to approach the lateral portion of the spine, we have negated all of those decision-making processes which are unnatural to the surgeon. We rely simply on the normal techniques of posterior decompression, pedicle screw instrumentation, which is a much stronger construct than a lateral plate, and we avoid any sort of repositioning of the patient. This technique lends itself well to simple surgeries because you can easily access the posterior part for doing a decompression, and more complex deformity surgeons can use this to relax portions of the spine posteriorly and work simultaneously. The positioning is really quite simple. Uh, we use bolsters and fix the patient to the uh, bed and in that way, we work on the lateral aspect of the spine, beginning strictly orthogonal, just like in the lateral position. The procedure is quite similar after that, and our experience is that the abdominal contents move away in that position. The lumbar plexus actually moves posteriorly because of extension, and that we're able to access and do all the appropriate things and all the benefits of the lateral approach, which include indirect decompression, a large, cage, high fusion rates, and decreased risk of complications from the posterior approach. But then it allows us to add those patients in in which we are going to do a laminectomy or we don't want to rely on indirect decompression or we know we have to place pedicle screws or we don't want to consider a standalone. So this lateral approach has allowed us to have the benefits of the, of the standard positioning of the lateral approach, but putting us in a position to improve outcomes and specifically to improve lordosis. As you know, lordosis is a critical factor in outcome to patients. When the patient's position prone, we gain at least five to six degrees at each level as compared to the patient in the lateral position. So what we found is that the global lordosis benefit is significantly improved over the lateral approach and also allows us to do posterior decompression and or releases posteriorly simultaneously. It's easy to learn, it's a brand new procedure, and uh, it's, I think we're gonna see a lot more people transitioning to this approach in the future. Mm -hmm.